Let's remove a Tesla Model X battery pack and pull the modules. Over the head. How, how, how many of those can you do, matey? That was it. <laughs> right, we were putting it. The 2016 Tesla Model X was picked up at a salvage auction. It was a statutory write-off with big impacts on the side, smashed windscreens, and only three wheels. Most of the panels were also damaged. It probably hit a telephone pole or a tree at high speed and bounced off into a few different things. Interesting that it didn't roll, but given that 530 kilos of batteries adding to the very low centre of gravity, it's probably not that surprising at all. The Model X was bought sight unseen with the intentions of using batteries and possibly motors in some classic EV car conversions. First conversion will be using the batteries in the 1965 Mark I Cortina. Motors are planned for other projects down the track. All the salvageable parts off the Model X will be sold for anybody who's interested. them out yeah. there's a method to pull them out without breaking all the um, fuse wires and everything so right. just don't try and no okay Oh, 
right there, under the plug, here's the clip right there. Slow motion, please. Some music. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I know. I know. Jesus, this is heavy. Is it? Okay. Yeah, well done, Graham. Over the head. How many of those can you do, matey? That was it. Right, we're recording it. I don't know, but I want to I would like to take the opportunity to thank Graham from Zuzi Auto Services for the lift time and Tim for the invite, or rather opportunity, to join a great bunch of guys from the Australian Electric Vehicle Association of Australia to put some tools onto this once great Tesla Model X and give the parts a new life on a de-iced Aussie legend. If you'd like to download any of these images used in this video, please find a link in the description to the Second Life Storage Community Forum, where we give used rechargeable batteries a second life they deserve in new projects that they were never designed for, or the AEVA Queensland Community Facebook page. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm digging through the glove box. I thought I had a map in here. The driver's door doesn't lock. I bought the car my junior year